Today's episode is brought to you by Nomad. Go to the Flathead's best manufacturer, Nomad is a longtime supporter of the local community and sports scene, celebrating 20 years of building great careers in mission focused custom vehicles. Nomad, a Montana based company making a global impact. Visit nomadgcs.com for more info. That's nomadgcs.com for more information. Welcome back to a college football edition of the Inner Lake Sports Now. I can practically smell August. It is almost football season. So let's dive in to some key games to watch for the Bobcats and Grizz moving into this season because both schools have officially announced their kickoff times and TV schedule for the 2023 football season. Let's jump into the Bobcats first as they start things out on the list with a big time matchup, which is gonna be one of the biggest matchups in all of FCS football during the regular season. This is like the equivalent of Georgia and Bama meeting up week one. These are powerhouse type schools as Montana State will be facing off with the South Dakota State Jackrabbits September 9th in a non-conference road matchup with the defending FCS champions. So the Jackrabbits and Bobcats have some history. They've met each of the last two seasons in the FCS semifinals. The Bobcats took it in 2021. The Jackrabbits won it last year. Gonna be a heck of a football game. It will be aired on MTN TV here in Montana and kickoff is set for 5 p.m. So, like I said, the teams met in each of the last two FCS semifinals. Last year, they met in December. Some of the worst playing conditions you will ever see. It was looked more like a hockey rink than a football field. It was icy. It was slick. You could have probably gone out there and done some figure skating. It was that bad. Tommy Malott was slipping all over. So I'm really interested to see. It's now kind of late summer, early fall when they meet. Late summer. We'll, 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 we'll let summer last as long as we can. Early September in Montana. That's summer. So we'll take that. It's going to be some nice weather. The game's in South Dakota. But the point being, it's going to be more of a, a fair advantage because it was a wild game with poor field conditions and it, it turned into a war of attrition. The point being now we're going to get to see these teams at their best. It's going to be fun to watch. I have a feeling the Bobcats head coach, Brett Vegan and the QB duo of touchdown, Tommy Milan and Sean Chambers have had that game circle on the calendar since it was announced. So they're ready to roll. I guarantee that's going to be a great football game, regardless of the outcome for the Bobcats as a football fan, you're going to want to watch that one. Next up is a road game for the Bobcats, September 23rd in Ogden, Utah versus Weber State at 6 p.m. on ESPN Plus and MTN TV. This game jumped out at me right off the bat because you look back at last season's schedule, the Bobcats ended up playing them twice. They beat them in the regular season and the playoffs. The Wildcats kind of had one of the weirdest losses of all time versus Montana State last year where the Wildcats long snapper snapped the ball four times out of the back of the end zone or for safety. So essentially, he had four safeties. It's an FCS record. Wildcats led up eight points because of that. Bobcats won that game by five. And then they meet again in the playoffs, and it's a close game. It's an eight-point win for the Bobcats. So the point being, they are two really close games. And, you know, it's safe to say that it's hard to beat a team three times in a row in conference especially. It's rare you play them within 12 months. So it's going to be a real test for the Bobcats on the road versus a playoff caliber team year in and year out in recent memory in the big sky and the FCS. So there's going to be a test early for the Bobcats. It's their first big sky conference matchup of the season as well. But you look at the history last year, you beat them twice. Both were tough, hard fought games. Now you got to do it a third time on the road in under a year. That's a test in itself, and if the Bobcats can pull that one off early, it's a good sign that they're right back on that FC, FCS semifinals, FCS championship kind of a trajectory because that is a tough one. All right, last up for the Bobcats. As far as the key games to watch early go, of course, there'll be more to keep an eye on throughout the year, but these are the ones that jumped out early. A road game versus the Idaho Vandals, October 28th on ESPN Plus and MTN TV. Game time is to be determined. The Idaho Vandals are a team on the verge of making the leap to a big sky title contender. And the Bobcats have the target on their back. They've been the team with a lot of success the last couple of years. They won the big sky last year. The Vandals, a team trying to establish themselves as a power in the FCS. 
this is a big game for the Vandals. You know they're going to be hungry. They're loaded with offensive firepower. Quarterback Giovanni McCoy and wide receiver Hayden Hatton, two of the best players in the big sky and the FCS level around the country. So expect fireworks from both offenses as we know what Tommy Milan and Sean Chambers are capable of as well. So I think these are two of the most complete teams in the big sky. They're going to meet up in late October when things really heat up for the playoff race. I think it's going to be one circle your calendar, Northwest football Northwest football fans in general, whether you root for these teams or not, you're going to want to keep an eye on that football game. It's going to be a good one. Now, let's move into three key games for the Grizz. First up, a road game versus Utah Tech in St. George, Saturday, September 9th at 7 p.m. You can watch that one on ESPN+. Plus. So, Utah Tech, they play Montana State in week one and week two. They're going to have the Grizz in town. So, to me, this is a little bit of a test for the Grizz in the sense they have a lot of new faces starting to key positions. Likely quarterback is going to be somebody who either... It wasn't the starter for the most majority of last year, maybe a Chris Brown or a new guy, Sam Vidlack. The point being, the Grizz, we don't know exactly what this team's going to look like. The Bobcats, they go in week one, they demolish Utah Tech, and then the Grizz go play them and struggle. Do the question marks arise? If Montana State wins by 40, and then the Grizz go play them, and they win by three, you go, wow, there's a big gap in talent between the two schools, which isn't always true. You can't play football math. Every game's different. Sometimes the cookie crumbles. The point I'm getting at is it's early for the Grizz. This is a chance for, in my opinion, you see maybe the Bobcats go out and get a statement win. They blow out Utah Tech. The Grizz, you're going to want to bring that same type of energy and get a statement type of win. That being said, who knows? The Bobcats struggle a little. Maybe they host Utah Tech, take them too lightly. Week one, all of a sudden, it's a close ball game. And then next week, the Grizz go to Utah Tech and blow them out. It sends a message to the big sky that, hey, maybe we're the team to beat. So it's just one of those games. It's a little early in the season. You're not going to know exactly what to expect from this year's University of Montana team. In the sense, there's a lot of new faces. They have the system. They have the structure. But this is going to be that first test, in my opinion, where we could kind of compare and contrast versus a common opponent versus Montana State and just see where are they at. Do they steamroll Utah Tech and the Bobcats struggle, like I said, vice versa? However it may be, it's not perfect. You can't do football math and expect perfect results. But there's something to it, common opponents, something to look at. So we'll see how that one goes. I got that game circled on my calendar because I think, like I said, it's going to be a chance for the, you know, Grizz to make an early statement versus a common opponent to their biggest rival. So, next up is a home game Saturday, November 4th in Missoula at 6 p.m. on the Montana Television Network, that MTN network again. So, Sac State, a recent power in the big sky. And if anybody doesn't rem remember, I'm sure a lot of Grizzlies fans don't want me to remind them of this, but the Hornets beat the Grizz in an overtime thriller on ESPN2 last year with the Country Watch and not nationally televised game. And it was one of those games where the Grizz should have had it. They were up maybe by 10 points. They blew the lead. There were some really questionable calls by the referees that sent Grizz Nation into a frenzy on Twitter. So there was a lot of feeling like, wow, that should have been our game for Grizz Nation. The team in general, the players, you know they're going to be hungry for that rematch. That's one of those games that as soon as it ended, I bet they were already thinking about next year. We should have had those guys. So that's going to be a good one in front of the home crowd at Washington Grizzly Stadium and just a chance to kind of get a little redemption. It's a new year, I'm sure, if you ask Coach Bobby Howell, he'll say, we are not even thinking about last year, one game at a time, it's a new season. But at the end of the day, you want to you know, you want to get that win back because that was a tough loss. And it is worth noting, Sac State's first-year head coach is former Grizz linebacker Andy Thompson, who was a part of the Grizzlies' 2001 National Championship team. So that's an interesting, fun tidbit. Got the you know, alumni going against his former school, calling the shots for the first time. It's his first year as a head coach. So that'll be awesome. Last up for the Grizz here. It is a road game, October 14th in Moscow versus a team we already mentioned, the Idaho Vandals, nationally televised, game on ESPN2, and it kicks off at 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So prior to the Vandals' victory last year, the Grizz had won 10 straight Little Brownstein rivalry games between the two schools, and that was dating back to 2000. So Idaho is going to be hungry to keep bragging rights on their side and solidify that spot. I kind of mentioned what they're going to want. You know, they have something to prove against the Bobcats. More to, you know, same thing with the Grizz when the team's kind of, you know, beat you for since 2000. That's 23 years where you beat them once. 
This is a chance to prove yourself as a perennial big sky contender type of a team under head coach Jason Eric. Well, the Grays and Bobby Houck, they're looking to restore some order in the big sky. Go, we're still the team to beat. So that little Brown Stein game is building up to be a really special one on the road for the Grays. So that'll be a big test. And everybody knows what the University of Montana can be capable of when firing on all cylinders. And that's going to be a game that I think they're fired up to play in. So I expect a lot from the Grizz in that one. And this could be a season defining type of game for the Grizzlies. You have to look at it that time of the season, early October. Big Sky Conference team that's going to be competing for a playoff spot in that top, national top 25 like the Grizz, it makes you wonder, do, is this going to be a game that I'm not going to say season-defining here we're in July, but when it leads up to it, when we look back and look at this season in a nutshell, I'm pretty sure that Vandals game is going to be crucial to whether the Grizz are a top 5, top 10 team in the FCS or kind of flowing around that mid-15. We're going to see how it goes, but I think that's going to be a big one for the Grizz. And on paper, it's their toughest road test. So there's that nationally televised game, late kickoff, on the road, tough environment to play off and to play in, excuse me. And I'd say the next toughest road game will likely come versus UC Davis in Northern California as the Aggies last year were on the cusp of being an FCS playoff team, good offense. So always tough to play on the road versus a team who can light it up offensively. UC Davis is capable of that. So... That all being said, football time is almost here. Football fans, sports fans, only about a month or so. So like I said earlier, I can practically smell August, and then next thing you know, we're counting down the days till football. We'll slowly but surely be rolling out more and more Grizz and Bobcat content here on the Interlake Sports Now, and then keep an eye out for some more Big Sky Focus content soon from yours truly and the Sports Now team. We have some things cooking, hopefully, for this football season. It should be a lot of fun. So keep an eye out there, Big Sky fans. Grizz fans, Bobcat fans, looking forward to a fun season. These are some key games to watch. Of course, there's going to be games I missed. I didn't get everything in there. There's some other rivalry type of games or games you better circle on the calendar because they're going to have playoff implications. But when you look right off the bat, these are three that for each team that could really have an impact on the season and can really tell us a lot about the trajectory of the season for each team. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for some Grizz and Bobcat football. It's that time of year again. It's been about six months since... We've had the Bobcats playing, I guess, I think they were playing in January still. Maybe it was December, but seven months now. It's too long, so it's football season. Have fun, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Next thing you know, it'll be kickoff time. And like I said, we got some fun things in store from the Interlake Sports team Now team for some Big Sky football. So it's going to be a fun one. Everyone, you have a good one. Josh Dugan, I'm out. Today's episode is brought to you by Nomad. Go to the Flatheads Best Manufacturer. Nomad is a longtime supporter of the local community and sports scene, celebrating 20 years of building great careers and mission focused custom vehicles. Nomad, a Montana based company making a global impact. Visit nomadgcs.com for more info. That's nomadgcs.com for more information.